can see it on each of their faces, the reason so many Panamanians came to Santo Tomas Hospital this day. Rafael Fuentes. Nothing could have stopped them. It takes a cane and a wall for this man to make his way, but he hopes today is his day that doctors will choose him. Luchando. He says he's been struggling to walk for 20 years. They come any way they can, using whatever it takes. Jose Cedeño. Hoping to get up and out of the unbearable pain, the despair, and the poverty that severe disability brings. To be disabled is to be forgotten. Take away the ability to walk, and gone too are the chances to work, to run, to dance. Uh, does she walk outside? For any American who thinks that arthritis is simply a nuisance that medications ease, look again and you'll see how untreated bone and joint disease deforms and destroys. Hope is the reason so many came to the Operation Walk Denver team in Panama City, Panama. Carmen Vieveras. Hope is about to meet compassion. We're on 57 right now. We're about to start 58. Day one is a day of tough decisions. I don't know. I, I, so you can see how severe the pain. The Operation Walk Denver team carefully assesses each patient as gently as they possibly can. No question, all have dire need, but who can endure the surgery? We're evaluating her medically to make sure that she's safe and an appropriate candidate. She has pain at night and at rest. She has a hard time finding a comfortable position, and so it really has affected her a lot. It is yes or no day. We hope it's mostly yes day, because <laughs> we're seeing a lot of people that really need, need a lot of help. Gumercindo desperately needs both knees done, but he's only healthy enough for one joint replacement this time. Benigna is only 34 years old, but her left hip is destroyed. She can't straighten it enough to sit anymore. She is overjoyed to go to surgery. <laughs> Benny says she's so happy to be here, to think maybe she could get back to being a normal person, to walk and run. Victory for some, heartbreak for others, help comes too late. It is why Operation Walk Denver needs funding to come back to Panama every year. Pain in her knees for 11 years, four years, very severe. She is also now wheelchair bound. After a morning of agonizing decision making, the OpWalk Denver team has chosen this year's patients. The first group heads to surgery the same day. It's needed. It's definitely needed, and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. We had a great clinic this morning, and <clears throat> got about 60 cases hopefully lined up. We're going to do in the next three and a half days. So. Wow. Time to go to work and get them all done. Instead of general anesthesia, the team doctors only have drugs for spinal blocks. I think the nicest thing is the patients are really, really very appreciative. They're very uh, kind people. And uh, I think they're in uh, dire need of improving their lifestyle. Surgery, though, is only part of the goal. OpWalk aims to teach Panamanian doctors and nurses to someday do this for themselves. I am a human carpenter, just like the person that builds your house. And I run a saw, and I run chisels, and that's what we do. A major remodel will replace both of this woman's grinding knees with metal and plastic implants. We're going to shape her bone and make it more like the good Lord made it. Meanwhile, a couple of floors up, the next surgery patients are eager for their turn. He says he wants to go back to work. He's a carpenter, and he says with all this pain, he couldn't work. His second chance is just hours away, thanks to the fundamental tools at work here, kindness and compassion, taught
taught by yet another carpenter more than 2,000 years ago. She says she's so grateful that she waited four years for this operation. Dozens of new knees and hips are implanted one right after another. Trying to figure out the schedule and get people in and make sure they have instruments. Yeah? Yeah. How's that going? It's a little juggling act with fire. <laughs> Just want to drop this off. Sure. The team does it all gladly. The supplies, the time, the talent, all of it is donated. But surgery is just the beginning. Recovery is hard work. Here it's rehab with lots of know-how and very little equipment. Okay, this is the uh, Panamanian CPM machine. This is our C the equivalent of a CPM. Saving thousands worldwide. <laughs> Dr. Tom Thornhill, chief of orthopedics at Brigham and Women's Hospital, is interested in starting a new opwalk team out of Boston. Push down with your leg. That's good. Good. Push. And, and, and when you walk, you know, since you've been like this, you now must walk upright. Okay. Good. He's hooked. Seeing is believing that something so extraordinary can happen in just a few days. While working out their new knees and hips, word comes that these patients have a special visitor. The president of Panama, Martin Torrijos Espino. I just have to say thanks. You know, thanks to them, the people there for the really how they show solidarity in Panama. We're very grateful for everything you have done. And um, just look at these people's faces when, when they're able to work. Thanks. Even though this woman's surgery ended just three hours ago, she is compelled to show her president what she can now do. <laughs> Wow. This is the walk of dreams. We're gonna make a difference, gonna show that we can. There is so much to celebrate. Gratitude so overflowing, it can't be still. She says, everyone from Op Walk has been extraordinary, magnificent. You did your work with dedication and love, and we will be eternally grateful. She says, you just operated on me yesterday, but already I feel better than I have for eight years. It truly is our privilege to come here to take care of you. Americans and Panamanians became a great team. My team is very skilled, they are very compassionate, and I am really proud of them. To Panama, from Denver, with love. Love it. I don't want to go home. We'll be back next year to see all of you and do many, many more operations on the Panamanians with arthritis. More walks, more dreams await. Walk with me today. Walk with me.